While most jobs in technology are filled by men, you may be surprised by the size of the majority, 75%. To get more women breaking through the silicon chip ceiling, a female scientist created a tech contest limited to teenage girls. No boys allowed. Here's Edward Lawrence. How can you change the world? It's called the Technovation Challenge. 100 teams looking at real world problems and developing innovative high tech solutions. It's girls only by design. Tara Chaklovsky helped create the contest based in part on her own real world experience. I'm an aerospace engineer and I have a degree in physics and I was always the only girl in a class. In most schools today, she might still be. A recent survey found only 13% of high school girls compared to 40% of boys wanted careers in science, technology, engineering or math, STEM for short. The problem is, is kind of deep, so a girl doesn't think that um, computer science or programming is something cool. The Technovation Challenge, she says, is designed to make it cool. This kind of experience should be given to girls much earlier so that before they jump into the workforce, they have a positive experience that says, yes, we can do this. The challenge is bigger than a contest, of course, because smart teenage girls are all too aware of the latest headlines about rampant sexism in the tech world. Here's what 16-year-old Claire Huang figures she'd have to deal with if she chooses a career in technology. Not being intimidated by men in the workforce, not being put down by them, not being given menial tasks. But she heard about the technology challenge and she decided to give it a try. Her team from Palo Alto's Castilea High School reached the finals, developing an app that connects students with places to volunteer. It's very simple. Claire's teammate Mayuka Saruka is now thinking about studying to be an engineer. I'm really interested in any way I can just making a difference in people's lives. The finals were held in California's Silicon Valley. And when that many girls get together in a place where boys get most of the jobs. Self-confidence dramatically increases. You have a lot of people cheering for you. Um, it's a life-changing experience. Claire's team didn't win, and it didn't seem to matter. I'm not intimidated anymore. I'm ready to go out there, uh, build our app, and just pursue a career in this. When she gets there, perhaps she'll no longer have to feel like a pioneer. Edward Lawrence, CBS News, Los Angeles.